Hi, I'm Matt Moran. Welcome to Kitchen Tales. There's nothing I like more than catching up with mates while I cook for them in my kitchen. It's where all the best stories are told. Today I've invited a friend into my home to chat about their lives. I've done some digging into their favourite food memories and while we chat, I'll be whipping up something delicious inspired by their stories. Sometimes what I come up with might really surprise them. So join us in the kitchen. I'm looking forward to sharing their kitchen tales with you. Oh, wow. Oh, Matty. <laughs> My guest today is Deb Hutton. Now, everyone knows Deb because she's an Australian icon. She's a top model. She's a TV host, she's a really good friend, and she also plays my stunt wife occasionally. I'll get to that a little bit later. She's a great cook, and she hates wastage. I've got a few little tricks up my sleeve for Deb today. Tricks? What tricks? I know all about your tricks. I knew you'd let yourself in. Of course I let myself in. You never listen to the doorbell anyway. No, I never do. I'm gonna get you some bubbles, yeah? Oh, what a good idea. Yeah, of course. Oh, scampy. Oh, uh, my God. Got a little, little tricks for you today. Thank you. And, uh, and I thought, you know what, what a beautiful way to start with just some, some scampi. I have to say, they are really expensive scampi, but in my world, I reckon it's the best shellfish in the world because it's so sweet. And also, I want to talk about males and females. Scampi. Boys and girls. Are we talking about scampi or friends? Scampi. Or? <laughs> um, and I'm going to show you because there are males and there are females. Look, that's a female obviously straight away because it's got it's got eggs, yes, right? Yes, yes. But if you just look here, it's got nothing there. It's just like soft little yeah. furry things. But yeah. if you look at this one here, and you do it up, he's got two little penises. Oh. Well, he'd be a very happy man having two, yeah. wouldn't he? <laughs> but that's, that's the difference. And well, like you, I didn't know that. Yeah, that one there. But see, it it's funny because it's um, it is expensive, but you just got to sit there and make sure that you save the moment. So you've got to have like the perfect yeah. wine, you've yeah. got to have the perfect yeah. company, you've got to have the perfect dish, and then you just sit there and go. It's not something you're going to sort of buy every week. No, it's not. And, and, I, and I honestly, I was down the fish markets last week, and they were sitting up there, and they're so perfect, scampi. They look like. You know when you go to Japan and everything's just plastic? Yeah, yeah. They, were, they look so perfect, they, look, they, they just look like little plastic scampies. And I oh. went, oh my God, you're so destined for my barbecue. And I think they're great to have with champagne too. So I'm just going to put them in they the pan, are. and this is how easy they are. Yeah, so you don't clean them that easy. No, you just, oh, no because no. I want all that sort of beautiful mustard. Oh, dear. Well, you can eat that bit. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like, and you can do this with prawns too. And I'll tell you what also you can do, like, you know, bugs or anything like that. Yeah. It's funny, you know, I, I, I didn't really, um, I wasn't really into cooking until, when I mean, you mentioned about the place, so Harry and I had a place down at Fox Ground down, sure. um, down south. And, um, because when I grew up, I, did, I, wasn't re I didn't really grow up in a family of great cooks. My grandmother was a great baker, but mum wasn't yeah. a baker or a cook. So when Harry and I built this farm, then we built this massive sort of country kitchen. And I thought, well, while he's out, you know, dealing with the ponies and stuff like that, I can just get lost in the kitchen. So, and it was, and I, I think about scampi there, my first dish was, I did a champagne risotto with grilled scampi. Oh, really? It was so 80s. Or early 90s. It was one of those things that you just, um, that you just, we had quite a few mates down and I thought I was so clever. So I want to talk about your often play my stunt wife. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> um, yeah, we've had a few stunt nights, that's true. We have had a few stunt nights, yeah. but I Not suppose stunt. if the audience yeah. you know, is watching this, they probably want to understand that, but it's, uh, yeah, no, oh, right. I've been. In fact, I've been your offsider. Yeah. When we go to red carpet things, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. Sometimes with with media, you know, you're not always invited. You're invited because of you know what you sort of bring with it. So it's usually just a sort of a one. And then your partner gets so bored, that's so you true. go, you know, I don't want to drag them through it. So yeah. you ring up. You go, Matt. What are you? Are you going to that thing on Thursday night? <laughs> yes, I am, Deb, and I'll pick you up at six fifteen. I'm like, awesome. So all I've done, Deb, cut them in half. Um, I haven't washed anything out because I don't want the water to get into into all that beautiful mustard. A little bit of salt and um, we're just going to grill them. Yep, just simple. No garlic? No chilli? No. <laughs> you know what, it's um, it, it, coming to the chilli, and, and I think I know why you said that, is because you also mentioned that you love Asian flavours. Yeah. So I'm going to show you um, something that I actually do this at home all the time. I love it. It's really simple, really easy. Um, the only hard part is actually filleting the fish. 
um, and I'm just going to make like a, an Asian broth with some shiitake mushrooms and some vegetables. But we're just going to just really, it's just a simple broth brought to the boil, and then I'm going to steam this beautiful. Um, uh, trout. Yeah, coral trout. Oh my yeah. god, that's a coral trout. Yeah, wow. Yeah, it's just gorgeous. You wouldn't just get your fishmonger or your mate to say, listen, I've got Deb coming over, can you fill it a trout for me? Or you just <laughs> want to show off in the kitchen that you can actually, is that what you're doing? Well, <laughs> now the pressure's on, isn't it? Um, you know what, I, and I, you're right, I always say whenever I go to the fish shop, um, and I go to, you know, down the markets, you can see that one's got a little bit of rigor mortis, which is beautiful. Um, and I often look for the whole fish, and uh, and then get them to fillet it. Yeah. So those wings are beautiful. I can steam them later too, yeah. actually. Yeah. I'd never waste that. That's a very attractive looking fish. It is, isn't it? So yeah, there's absolutely no bones there whatsoever, except for the little rib bones here. Yeah. Um, nice job. Yeah, not bad, huh? I'm just going to leave that there. I'll, I'll fill it that later and yeah, use that. I'm impressed. You've sharpened your knives for me as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, look at that knife. That's that's my um, yeah, I've seen this one handmade knife. Yeah, yeah that's it's shown me. I know. Um, so I'm just going to very carefully just take that rib cage out and yeah. not leave any meat on it because this we obviously know this is a very expensive fish too. Yeah. Um, all these bones I would use in a in a in a broth. Yep. Yeah. So no wastage whatsoever. Yeah. And I'm just going to fillet this and take it off the skin. And the reason why we don't steam it with the skin on is because it starts to shrink. Uh, of course. And we don't want that. Yeah, and we just want it raw fish. Yeah, nice. Oh, look at that. So there is a tiny little bit there that I just left. Now this is really important because all these offcuts yeah. you can actually use um, for lots of different things. Yeah. Now this is a piece of fillet for two. So what I want to do is all these offcuts I'll get rid of, but I will use them up at some so you're stage. Tidying it up. Tidying it up nice. because I want to because it's you, Deb. Um, I'm going to I'm going to cut rather than cut it into into two. I'm going to cut it into like nice little chunks, mm. and I'm going to use. Beautiful. Uh, I'm so going we're to doing do. A, we're doing a broth. Are you just, just wait and see? I've told you I've got some little little tricks for you. That's like you know that's a serve I reckon. Two that nice pieces. And all this yeah. off the off cuts yeah, will be used. Yeah. Will be used later. I promise you. Yeah. All right. I know you've got a big thing about wastage, so we're. I um, do. I do. I come from. I'm an older generation person. <laughs> I'm actually just going to put a tiny bit of oil. This is important on the bottom of the the um, steamer, and uh, you can use a little bit of. Um, I've just got some grapeseed oil there, but you could also use sesame oil. Is grapeseed what you use the most when you're cooking? I, I do, because it's such a neutral flavour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, scampi. Oh, scampi. Oh, my God, the scampi. It's like, oh, my goodness, the chips. They don't need long, do they? And they're, to me, just cooked. I like them to be a little opaque yeah, in the middle. Yeah, Butter's soaked, soaked in. No, you've got to have butter. Of course, it's bougie, Deb. Yeah. Bougie? Bougie. What's bougie? Bougie's like, you know, like fancy, isn't it? <laughs> See, I know you for the real Deb. If people I'm think that not you're fancy, if people think you're fancy and bougie, they probably would. I know, but, but I'm not. If they only knew. <laughs> if only they knew. Is that what this show is all about? <laughs> if they only knew. I'm so not bougie. I didn't even know what bougie means. How unfancy I am. Yeah, yeah. Caviar. Oh heaven. Oh beautiful. The so colours. A little bit of uh, row on top. A bit of row. Lovely. Sticky row. Sticky row. That's a little row on row. Row on row. Yeah. Very summertime, I like it. It is. All right, now, oh, there you go, Deb. We actually get to eat it. Because yeah. normally these cooking shows, you sort of do it all, and then it puts to the side, and you move on, and then no. it's cold. So we actually get to eat it hot. Oh, hot too. Yeah, oh, wow. That. You still see it steaming. Have you got a big enough fork? Oh, my God. No, I know no. I've got a big mouth, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm sitting down with a T-bone with this fork. No, Matt, you're, you're, you're at home. That's, oh, no. you know, there's nothing fancy here. Mmm. It's good, huh? God, perf. Oh my god. How sweet are they? Perfectly cooked. Mmm. They are. They are. They're amazing. I love that buttery too. Yeah. You can't do scampi without butter. No. And chili. <laughs> <laughs> scampi meat to me is the sweetest of the lot. Mm. That and um, the mud crab. Muddy. I like the best. Mm. Um, yeah. Blue swim with crab. I love bugs. crab meat. Yeah, bugs. 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 Are fantastic. bugs would be great doing this. Yeah. 
Oh. We didn't even use the lemon. That's how that's it was. delicious. That's good, right? Beautiful. That's that's, that's kind of that's kind of stopped you from. You think that. that's going to shut me up? It won't shut you up, but at least it's <laughs> got a little bit of the craving done. <laughs> um, I've got some beautiful beetroots there. I'm going to cook and. <laughs> you are not cooking beetroots. Why? You don't like beetroot? Oh come on! <laughs> why? Tell me why, Luke. They're oh actually they're actually raw. It's oh, oh my god! Why don't you like beetroot? It's it's really weird, right? I, I mean, I love food. I think food's mm. an amazing experience. I just I love everything about it. There's a couple of things I just can't I can't swallow, and one of them is beetroot. And mm. I have tried it. And every chef, every restaurant, everyone goes, no, you, you haven't had my beets. You, you've got to have these ones. And I go, I'll keep trying. They taste like dirt to me. <laughs> and I think it's because when I, I was growing up in Queensland and um, we, my mother just forced sliced, you know, canned beetroot into me. And it's just disgusting. And, mm. and, I, and, and I've just got that taste that I just can't remove. And every time I see it, and it's such a shame because mm. there's some beautiful things in all these menus and all these restaurants. And you just go, and you don't know. they really didn't have the beetroot. I, I picked up on that when you right. said that you don't like beetroot. And I yeah. thought, I'll just have there just, I wanted the story because I, I, I love beetroot I and I'm not, I'm not brave enough when you say you hate it to actually try to convince you to, otherwise. No, because everybody hasn't. Yeah, and, I, and I'm not going to go there. But I similar have a, a similar story. When I grew up, we used to have tinned asparagus. Oh. Because we never saw fresh asparagus. That's exactly right. And I hated that, asparagus yeah. until, and now I love yeah, it because it's kind of completely well. different to the tin yeah. stuff. I can do it in a, in a vegetable juice, which is right. weird, right? Because you throw it with, you know, yeah, carrot yeah. and celery yeah. and spinach and everything. And so it does have that beetroot colour and a little bit of beet, but the sweetness of the carrot cuts it, so I don't know. All right, so Deb, I'm going to show you how to make this, uh, this broth. Um, okay. And it's just, it, look, there's no real recipe to it. You just make this shit up as yeah, you I go just, along. I just make shit up as I go along. <laughs> um, a little bit of chicken stock. You can use fish stock or scampi stock. Yeah. Just It's like a broth this is, so I want to have some veggies and mushrooms in it, and you can just have it yeah. as a soup also. Beautiful. Um, this is uh, soy, but it's actually mushroom soy. Mushrooms, made, on, made on mushrooms, yeah. So it's, did you make it or did you buy no, mushrooms? No, I, I buy it. But it's just, oh, um, it's just. Oh wow! It's strong, but it's just. Oh, it's beautiful. A little bit more earthy. Mmm. Right. And I've oh, got it's a little, beautiful. A little bit of um, Never rice, made a mushroom rice wine vinegar, yeah. and mirin. Mirin is, yeah. is the sweetness. So I want a bit of sweetness in it. Now Lovely. I'm just going to add this, and I'm going to have to taste it and see what. Goes yeah. Like. Vinegar is an acid, so I just want a, a little Balance bit of sharpness. It. Yeah. yeah. Balance, you know all about the balance, balance good. Yeah, yeah. And a little bit of sesame oil. Oh, beautiful. Um, and sesame oil is really strong, and I put a lot in that, but that's all right. It's funny, you know, with Asian flavors. I love the Asian flavors, but I, I'm, I just, I always have to look up the kind of ratio of what, how you pull things together. Like, yeah. You, because yeah. I think that's the thing, if you don't know how to sort of, if you don't cook a lot of Asian food. And, and if you're following a recipe, yeah. um, I'm just gonna put ginger. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna change that. Of course you are. Just to confuse everybody. <laughs> just to confuse everyone. I'm just going to get a knob. Yeah. And uh, I'm just going to grate a little bit. Uh, I, I I love grating garlic and ginger these I was, days. I was watching some of your Instagram stuff during ISO. Yeah. Yep. Did you do something similar? To I did. Yeah, oh, I, I did. I, did. I, I did. picked I did. up I did. on that. I did. Yeah. I was like, ah. Oh. Tiny little bit of um, yeah. garlic. Garlic. Too. And I'm just going to bring that to the boil and then that'll be the base and then I'll just add flavours to it right. on what it needs because I don't know how strong that's going to be. Okay. Right, but I'm just going to get that ready. Beautiful. And I'm going to put a little bit of chilli in it too. Good. Get rid of that. I can't do anything in the kitchen without starting with garlic and chilli. <laughs> that's even for breakfast. <laughs> I'm going to grab some mushrooms. Got some shiitake mushrooms. Beautiful. I love those other ones. Yeah. I've got some water boiling over there too. That's I'd actually get the bok choy. Okay, yeah. You, I think you stopped. Choy. Yeah, your water's boiling. Okay. Yeah, that's boiling yeah. over there. Bok choy, which I just sort of steam at some point. Do you know what I do with bok choy? I rarely eat the leaf. I always eat the base. Yeah. Just a personal thing. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> All right. Now that's done there. I've got my veggies for that yeah, later. Nice. I'm going to just try my, my little broth. Oh, it looks beautiful. It smells good. I, mean, I just love the whole mushroom soy thing. I think that sounds amazing. Oh, now, right. So I've got my fish. That's going to be great later. Let's put that to a side. And I'm going to make something a little bit off track now. Mayonnaise. And you, yeah, I'm going to make a tartare. Oh. oh. You're probably okay. asking why. Well, well I... <laughs> it all comes... How's that fit? It all comes back to one... You 
don't like wastage, and I really thought about this, that is actually for my dinner later on. There's no way I'm going to give you the good stuff. Um, and That'd I, be right. Off the off cuts that I had before. Oh, it's actually what we're having. This is, I'm just going to grab them, Deb. Because this is a staple that you grew up with. What? Oh my, that's not. All those off cuts that I had when I did my one yesterday, I made into fish fingers. Fish fingers. So. You are so funny. <laughs> I haven't had fish fingers for how old am I now? I think I was about 45. Yeah, 50 years. Right, so whenever I think about you, I love you to death, don't get me wrong, funny. but I always think about wastage. And when I came up with the idea of what I'm going to cook for you, I thought, right, well, what am I going to cook for Deb? And I thought, well, Boxing Day at your place, everyone brings leftovers. Yeah? Yeah. And then I remember the day one year that you walked down those stairs with about nine <laughs> drunken bottles of wine with that much in it, which were leftovers from the day before. Leftovers from leftovers. I thought, oh, that's so well, funny. I've got to give you some leftovers, is, which is the yeah. off cuts of the. That's hilarious. Oh mm. my God, that's so funny. You should bring that up. Yeah, that was, that was very funny. So the story, the story is obviously that we had a very late Boxing Day lunch. And, um, and yes, you know what happens when you have your 12 hours, your, your big lunch time, and you wake up the next day and there's all these half bottles of wine. And Matt said, I'll come down the next day for, you know, a, a lazy lunch. So I basically took all the bottles, all the half bottles. I'm like, you've got to drink them straight away. And I went, oh, I've arrived and here's all the wine. He's like, oh my God. <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> I'm going to make a touch here, but I want you to tell me a story you told me about fish fingers because okay. I think it's absolutely gold. I know. So, so there was just mum and I, right? So when we moved to Sydney, I was 11. Where from? Uh, from Brisbane. From Brisbane. Yes, yeah, so we moved down from Brisbane. So to make ends meet, mum, you know, single mum, yeah. working mum, she got, she had two jobs. So she worked during the day, come home, then go and do, um, she had a job at the tab or something at night. So she used to leave me those hideous TV dinners. You yeah. wouldn't remember them. No, I don't. Way before your time, and anyway, you haven't seen anything like it. But they, were, they came in these little alpha little pockets, and they were just disgusting. And so I'd always reach, she always had packets of um, fish fingers in the freezer, and there was always, you know, eggs. And so I started to decide, well, I just decided that I was just going to start cooking. So I used to fry up every night fish fingers and fried eggs like literally in a fry pan fish fingers and sit there and just think I was so clever. And then I think about it now, I just want to vomit. Uh, because <laughs> it's like so much fat and it was just like fried fish fingers. But mind you, they were crunchy. They were kind of cool in those days. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. I thought so oh, anyway. And the fried eggs. And you know, to this day, I'm, I reckon I cook eggs better than anybody. Really? Poached, fried, scrambled, souffle, omelette. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not going to fry you an egg today. <laughs> I don't want to burn these. No, don't burn them. I've actually they crumbed them. They look too them. beautiful. Oh, they're perfect. I've crumbed them and I've put a little bit of... Um, oh, they're panko, right? Panko. And I've put also uh, parmesan. I was wondering about that. Just when I just it, saw it, I thought it was yeah, a little parmesan crust. It just stink, uh, sticks a little bit better. Yeah, nice. And I really want... That's potato. So yeah. it's, I made a brand art. So I salted the, oh. the coral trout um, and then poached it in a little bit of milk. And then I mixed it with some uh, grated lemon and crushed potato. Are you kidding me? No. So they're a potato base. Um, really? Yeah, they're like a brandard. Yeah, I so know. So basically, I'm just going to roast them. Oh my god. So there. you just basically get the colour and just put them in there, and yeah. they'll just cook off. And yeah. Then, wow. Yeah. Um, are you are you shitting me? You're having that for dinner, and that's what we're having. <laughs> I don't know what to believe. They look amazing. <laughs> But that looks fantastic. It does, it looks fantastic. Yeah, then you get the broth. I, I, I couldn't do it to you. Oh my god. Of that's... course we're gonna have a fish finger, but I'm gonna cook this beautiful oh, fish. Oh okay, okay. And that's what we're gonna eat right oh, at the end. Oh my god, these fish fingers are insane. And that's to me is the perfect tartar sauce. That's beautiful. I actually use as a mayonnaise, I use kupi, which is a Japanese, yep. so it's a little bit I know. sweeter. It's great. Um, and just uh, uh, capers in vinegar, a little bit of gherkin, and yeah. uh, and a little bit of dill. And just some salt and pepper, and uh, but no, I'm not going to do it to you, and we're definitely going to steam that <laughs> cold trap. So Deb, Yo. I'm going to grab these. <laughs> these probably aren't the same fish fingers as what you used to have. No, they're. I have to say, it's only premium and luxury when you come on, isn't it, Matt? Really, they're not have a packet. I'm going to. I'm going to put this on for you. Yeah. Start the steam. That'll take a couple of minutes. You know, they. These this are. This is next level fish fingers. Seriously. Comes the other cheek. How the cheek? He love, loves um, cheek. And 
a little beautiful bit of, a little bit of dill over the yeah. top oh you know, wow make it just a little bit more special for you yeah wow can i say stop my beating heart <laughs> you should say my mother my mother would just like turn over she'd be like oh my god that's what a fish finger should look like oh look and they're really oh. soft oh wow oh maddie You've outdone yourself, seriously. Look at that tart here. Oh god, that's good. Coral trout fish fingers. We never heard of that one mm. before. <laughs> oh my. Yeah. Oh my god, they're so good. Oh. And they're not dry, they're really no, soft. They're, mm -hmm. And you get all the subtle flavours. Mm. And that's, Beautiful. that's the, the mashed potato in it. Yeah. Or the kipless potato. Soft and. Were they kipless? They were kipless, yeah. Oh. Oh. Absolutely bloody delicious. Right, now, my fish. Oh, I'm touched, I have to say. So, Deb, on to the, the coral trout part. There's no way I'm wasting anything in front of you. No. Crew? Oh, oh, what? What? Is that for Ron? That's for, that's for the crew. <laughs> yeah, for Ron. <laughs> All right. I see what's going on here. No wastage. Uh, okay. No wastage. No wastage. Very good. That just takes me back. It takes me takes back to back. Summer Hill. Shut <laughs> Yeah. All right. No, you know, I picked up on all of it. No, you did. It's you funny. Know. How's your fish going? You're not overcooking it, are you? I'll never overcook this fish. Okay. It's not far off, right? So I'm going to take that off there. I'm going to whack in the bok choy into the boiling water. Beautiful. And that's really easy. I'm just going to put a bit of salt in that. Yeah. And uh, in my other little broth, so I'm just going to throw my shiitake mushrooms in that broth and they'll cook in there. Super. And uh, I'll just make sure Oh, that's a bloody good fish. How many times have you burnt your fingers? Uh, over the years, I've got two fingers I don't have any feeling in anymore. Really? Yeah. Yeah, so, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, no, I chopped, the, be... I chopped the top off. Oh, yeah. Um, and it's been brought over and I don't have any feeling in the top of that. Mm. Which brings me to mm. um, skin cancer. Oh. Now, I've got to thank you. Oh. I've got to thank you because... You went and had your skin checked. Yeah. And um, I went and had it checked and uh, we found a couple of little things on my leg. Yeah. It was never gonna kill me, he said, but it could get nasty. Yeah, okay, so it could be a BCC or an SCC. Yeah, I can't remember, it was something like that. Yeah, right. But, um, wow. I, and it made me, after wow. what you went through, it made me think to yeah. go and get it done. That's amazing. So you've oh. saved my life. Well, it's not the first time. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, we're leaving the pub now. <laughs> That is so good to hear. Can I tell you, I mean, I've been inundated with people who have had similar stories. Yeah. Um, who have said, I went and had them checked and, and you kind of, you know, you maybe do it because this year's been so challenging for people that uh, in health wise, instead of getting out and doing their normal routine stuff, yeah. a lot of people haven't gone and get their skin checked. Yeah. And, um, yeah. and so they've just left it. And so I think, you know, me having my experience and then Talking yeah. about it so openly, it, it, I can't tell you, I was inundated with people who were sending me photographs of yeah. well, scars and all sorts of things that were cut out. I'm like, great, great, you just need to do that. You know, I, I used to try and do it every year. Yeah. But exactly that. I, I sort of let time go, oh I forgot about yeah. it. It'd been, I reckon it'd been a good two and a half years. Wow. And then when I saw yours, yeah. I thought, you know what, yeah. I've got to go and get it done. But you're out in the sun, I mean, you know, you yeah. kind of we live outdoors. We do. So you just I've, always book 12 I've, months I've already in done that now. Yeah, exactly. My bok choy is cooked. Fish is cooked. Right. Just going to make sure. Yeah. And this is, this is looking And beautiful. that's boiling. Jeez, it's all happening at once, isn't it? I know. It? Do you need a hand? <laughs> <laughs> I knew I was going to get that. Um, and well, I'll tell you what I do with the bok choy. I... Do you get that shot where you just lost the bok choy in the sink? Did you pick yeah, that up? but it's a two-second rule. <laughs> a little bit of sesame oil just in the bok choy. Nice. And uh, I yeah, just nice. soak up that extra little bit of water yeah. in that pan. That's done. Lovely. This so smells so off. beautiful. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. Asian flavours. Mm -hmm. oh. This is fancy today. I noticed Normally fancy. we just share, but we're just, uh, I'm, do, I'm doing plated, plated stuff for you. Yeah, it. beautiful. Because I do, I do remember you making something like this, and that's so one of the things I picked up on the most. All right, Deb, so this All is right. really simple. I can yeah. smell that beautiful sesame. Mm. It's a nice pieces. idea to put the sesame oil to finish yeah. off the bok choy. I like that idea. Got a couple one yeah. there. Beautiful. All right, fish. 
Now, I could have done it in one big chunk, but I actually like... Oh, look at that. Two little ones. It's got a pearlescence to it. It does, doesn't it? You should see the light from here. Really? Literally, it looks like opal, like white, you know, the white opal. And that's um, that's the, the coral trout itself. Oh, my God, it's so... Look at it. That trout looks amazing. Oh. oh. <laughs> Not just fish fingers no. in my house. All those shapes, Matty. Yeah. Yeah. I surprise you sometimes, don't I? <laughs> right. I'm going to put a little bit of um, coriander. Coriander. All right, Deb. I'm going to give you <gasps> that. A seriously, Matt. That you know, looks absolutely no, no wastage. beautiful. I know. Can I just say yes. what an absolute pleasure to have you into my home? I love being your inspiration, Matt Marie. <laughs> Scampi to start with. Beautiful fish fingers. Yeah. Coral trout in a in an Asian broth. Um, really simple, isn't it? Really? really? I made no mess. You've done, and no mess, I'm impressed. Can I tell you, I, I am so blown away by all of it, particularly the fish fingers. I think they're definitely going to end up on a menu outside of here. But it's just been sensational. I love, I love watching you cook. Because the thing when I arrive here, it's all done. And I think someone else does it. <laughs> <laughs> I should have made a, I should have made a beetroot cake.